Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And a big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us here on the channel where we're going to have a lot of good outboard fun. Sometimes not necessarily fun, but uh, uh, well, I, uh, I had to kind of take a little break on the outboard stuff and take care of some other things around here, the house falling apart, the truck falling apart, the me falling apart. Um, so hopefully we're getting on top of that stuff and we can get back to some good old outboard business. You understand. So I want to get back on my little spirit and get this thing all purdied up, put back together and a test run and then I might be doing some uh, trailer work on my trailer and of course I just got that cutie little Suzuki 15 in here and I'm jonesing a little bit there and then we got a whole bunch of outboard motors that I need to get on the back of the boat and get running get out there on that water and give them a test. You understand. So, we're going to start out on the Spirit and see if I can't finish, figure out this linkage on this thing. Um, I got my cable squared away, but not necessarily the linkage yet. It's kind of giving me a little... So, maybe I need to look at it from another angle or something, you know. So, that's what we're going to start out with, but uh, as always, you never know who's going to pull up or what's going to show up in this little shop. So let's get at it. Okay, what I did on the old Spirit here is I cleaned up these throttle cables right there. They're nice and brass, I like that. Then I took off the linkage and the holder that goes like that down in here and uh, there's a 17 millimeter bolt right there that, and that's where the cables go. But then you, we've got to put them in these slots here that they have. So I took this out like that and clamped it with these vice grips. And uh, now I'm going to see. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, so I think this would be the top cable. And if I have to, I can move these vice grips a little. Okay, that. I might have put these cables on backwards. Um. Let's see. So, yeah. something seems wrong there almost. Like, I'll we'll have to look in the throat of this thing and see if I can see what the butterfly is doing. Okay, I got this linkage figured out. I, I All it was is I had the two cables. Um, backwards and then I had to adjust this little guy here too um, I adjusted it some that and some on this one on both ends and then I retighten that little nut there but if you watch now it does the, the the butterflies I looked in there and I could see that it the butterfly turns completely horizontal and so that's what was wrong there I just had these two uh, cables backwards. So we've got them all good now. So, onward ho! Ho! It's me, Billy Ray! Well, I'm the best commercial fisherman in the whole North Territory. I was up at the Crab Shack to my cousin, Prospector Pete. He's my blood cousin, fifth connected. He said he came by here. He was walking by. 
He said that you done lost your mind. He said you were out there cutting up, chopping up, banging on a perfectly good pickup truck. He said he saw smoke and fire and sparks. He said you was possessed. He said you was hollering Diablo and, and doing some kind of devil worship. Boy, do you know how many rough fired orange belly short rake or arrow tooth muddy flounder I had to catch before I got my first pickup? It got worse. He said, as he was walking away, you started hollering about outboard spirits and stuff. Boy, I'm going to look around. I'm going to sniff around. And if I see you've been practicing any of that voodoo up around here, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to fix you. And I'm going to fix you right. Okay, let's get this old spirit. Water impeller in there. Oh, okay. That thing sure fits kind of loose. Take it back off. Let me look at the old one. I mean, they look the same. It's almost like there's a liner or something in there. Where is that at? Well, they're the same, but the hole on this one looks smaller. Interesting. Interesting. But, yeah, that one fits a lot tighter. It's still in really good shape, though. I don't see no reason why oh, that wouldn't work. Where's my soap? Where's my soap? A little soap on there, a little soap in the cup. And so I'm guessing now that uh, the one that goes this is probably the 15 or 14 Suzuki. But I'm okay as long as I know now I've got everything will come apart. I put a little and some geese on there. And I'll order another impeller if I need to. Actually, I'm going to have to order two 15s anyway because I got that little 15 Suzuki out there. And the lady said it's been sitting for years. So I know I've got to order an impeller for that. So I just ordered two. That's what I do. And we got to put the little anti geese. And remember, put it on the sides of the splines, not. Not the, the top. Now I gotta make sure I got all these little bitty lock washers. You just got these little bitty lock washers that go on top. Uh. There we go. Now I'm forgetting what size these are. I think they're. I, think I don't know what they are. Eight millimeter, maybe? Well, let's get 
an eight meter and see. I think I got one on my deal. If that's the right one. No. Nope. What size is that? No, that's uh, uh, 9 30 seconds. Ain't gonna cut. No. Nope. That ain't gonna cut. That wheel. That one wheel. Now, I forgot to put the, the little geese in the water pickup tube all around that and the shifty rod. And now we got the water pump back together. And make sure I'm not forgetting anything else. So, yeah. Let me get set up and we'll stab that puppy. That's never happened before. Right. Right. There we go. Now you say, did you put the anti-geese? Of course I did. Of course I put the old anti-geese in them boats. that party all right I'm fixing to put the lube in the lower unit but before I do I needed to show you this and this is why I like these Suzuki two strokes so much this ain't the first time I've seen it on these now this is a spirit look at that that's right, that's solid brass. That's the drain screw and the fill screw. Solid brass. I like the brass. Okay, 
You see, I got my big blob of Vaseline right there, right? You remember what that's for, right? Oh. Hey, I put about four good pumps in there. And now, I'm going to put a good big squeeze, oh, about a quarter cup or so of Luber Plate 105 in there. So, there we go. There we go. Now, I got some oil on, went in first, then the lubra plate, now I'm going to fill it until I get my oil, my 90 weight, come out the hole. Ba, 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 ba. This oil's a little cold, so it's a little thicker. And I put brand new seals on those beautiful brass drain and fill screws. And you want to go kind of slow so it kind of bloops the air bubbles out. Don't, don't be in a hurry with this. Just take your time. Nice slow pushes. Let them air bubbles kind of bloop out of there. Have you a good rag or something. Some cardboard, whatever you want. So you don't make a big mess. Oops, I feel like I just almost did. Starting to hear it a little bit there now. There she comes, it. Ah, got my leg. And then even after it comes out, squirt a little more. You can see some luby plate in there. Mainly is you don't want bubbles. Now, that Vaselinus Petroleus Gelionis. You want to stun us. You want to take that. Oh, get that big blob on the fainer. And then when we unscrew it, we'll put this. Of course, I could put the top screw in first. That would always help too. Aren't those brass fill and drain screws just pretty? What I was going to show you with that blob of Vaseline, as soon as you pull the hose out, have that blob of Vaseline ready to stick in the hole. That'll give you time to put that bottom screw in. As long as the top screws in, won't much come out of there, but if you have that blob of Vaseline, won't hardly any come out of there. And then you can take your time getting that bottom screw in, but my camera battery died. So, anyway, that's what that was for.
and gentlemen, may I present to you the spirit of Kodiak. Okay, so what I did after I got the throttle linkage all working and everything, everything all lubed up, I put on an Evinrude quick connect right there. I don't know if you're in there or not. I made a little bracket here, drilled a hole, put the bracket, and there's my quick connect. I still got to find a knob for my uh, choke here. Then, this is not a hole, this is a little rubber button I put in there to plug that hole, and then I cut a piece of rubber block and made a, a ditch all the way around the block to put in the front there. Seal up them holes. I ran the fuel pump, or the fuel hose, excuse me, as you put on the quick connect, it goes all the way around the back. And then I put uh, a uh, inline sediment bowl screen here. I also built a little bracket for that. It was bossed right there and threaded. So I built me a little bracket there and put that in there. So now you got this screen plus that one in a sediment bowl. Um, that and all new hoses and new plugs. And she's looking pretty good. She runs really well. I show you. I show you. That's going to do it on the Spirit of Kodiak. Um, all except for, I'm just waiting for the weather. Um, rainy, rainy, blowy, rainy. Um, for two weeks now. So, as soon as I get a break in the weather, I've got the Spirit, the Tahatsu 18, the 40 Mercury with the welded drive shaft, the 30 Johnson, um, and the Yamahas, the two Enduros. So I've got a lot of outboards I want to take out and uh, run them on the water and do water tests with them. So we got that coming up. But next, I got a fella who's wanting a 40 horsepower Evinrude. I got a couple of those. Um, but I don't have any with electric start and that's what he wants. So that's probably what I'm going to bring in next 
is get this 40 in here and go through it make sure it's all good and put electric start on it so that's what's coming up so get a little long get a little late that's going to be a wrap on this one and as always this video is recorded in the spirit of a Kodiak hack. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.